Hi team, Uwe Jacobs, property strategist from Property Friends. Um, we are at the Townsville Golf Club in Rosley. Um, just about to take over a property for one of our, uh, I guess, most beloved investors, our daughter. Um, I think it's great that we as a family follow through on our ethos and on what we want to do. So there's no better example to show all of that. So we are uh, at the Townsville Golf Club, as I said. We are going to look at a compact three-bedroom, two-bathroom home, double garage on 450 square meters. The intent with the property was our concept of continuous living, meaning that the property is uh, built with extra wide hallways, walk-in showers, uh, oversized doors and entries and so on and so forth. So let's have a bit of a look around the estate. Um, beautiful, all quality homes. The um, golf course is actually, um, if we go over here a bit, this is the actual golf course. We are about nine to 12 minutes from the city center with great facilities all around. Shopping center, about three minutes away by car. Um, public transport on the outside of the estate and um, all facilities, including a hospital uh, within five minutes. And as I said, the actual um, city center is about nine to 12 minutes away. So a fantastic location. Amazing to find an estate where you are sitting on the golf cart and uh, there is no body corporate to be paid. All right, so are we ready? Yes, I think we're ready. Well, what we'll do is we'll go in from the, from the, um, we we'll go in through the garage. So I will point out a couple of um, things that we do different. So this is the garage, this is no different. <laughs> but what is different is Is this one of the additions that we do? We all have the cumbersome items that we need only once a year, like the Christmas tree or the suitcases and that sort of thing that gets there, stored up there. It's got about uh, four square meters worth of storage. Uh, not meant for any heavy stuff or anything um, that would require a big flooring. It's meant as additional storage just for some cumbersome items. But it's a very nice addition and very much liked by our tenants. And it's one of the things that sets our properties apart. And it's out of the way. How good is that? The property is, of course, fully NBN cabled, CAT6 cabling. We will see the patch panel later on. Uh, three remotes for the garage. Um, so we do upgrade the um, electrical system a bit. It's just nicer to have some more data points and some more TV points and all of these sort of things. So let's go inside and we'll have a look. Um, yeah, if you, yeah, okay, let's, let's go. This is the front bedroom. Um, and all the bedrooms will be pretty much the same. The guys are still fixing a couple of small things. There's a, a, a security door that is being attached. That's the background noise. But anyway, so the, the system that we approach is, um, always the same. 
we prefer to have two mirror doors. One, it makes the room larger. Two, it's a bit of an upgrade. We don't do robes without hanging space. So a nest of shelves is standard in every one of our bedrooms. The lights, a minimum of two lights. Um, and we finish our properties with the roll down blinds, fan, air conditioning, and two power points per bedroom. Now, I'm a stickler for punishment for detail. There is nothing I hate more than the door stoppers out of plastic. These are magnetic door stoppers. They work and they last the, the test of time. This is what we do. There are small differences that set our houses apart. So let's continue to go through. Um, we have, in conjunction with the builder, amended the builder's design a little bit. This is a quite spacious study nook. Um, and again, that's, um, yeah, I'll turn the light on. With light above it. Um, if I was an owner occupier, I would put overhead cupboards here. But that's the old toss up between wanting to build the perfect house but needing to finance it and getting a return on it. If we look down here, that's where the patch panel is. So double power point, and here the cabling gets all sorted throughout the whole house. Let's go around the corner. We prefer to have a separate toilet and the laundry. Again, in regards to the laundry, we prefer the metal cabinets. And another one of my hobby horses, we always tell this through. Backing for a wall mounted clothes dryer. Again, the doors are all wider doors, 860 minimum, usually 920. Bathroom, why not fit a double vanity when you can? It is making for a nice addition. I just wanted to turn the fan off, otherwise we have to have too much big room noise. If you go in here, Ola, we have a tiled niche rather than a soap holder, which is the reason of which is I we don't want penetrations through the wall. Okay, we go back here. Now we're going to speed up a bit. So this is another bedroom. This is the master. Um, same, same air conditioning. The Master, of course, has got the built-in rope, walk-in rope, with two sets of shelves. And, of course, the master has the ensuite, single vanity, toilet, and same, same shower with the recess. If you put too many punctures through the waterproofing, you're asking for trouble. It costs a bit more to put the recess in, but maintenance is a lot less, so it makes sense. All right, we, again, small difference. We always put a TV point and a data point in the master bedroom. These sort of things set us apart from the rest of the investment homes. Very nice big linen. Here we don't go for mirror doors because it is not the idea. Now, I dare say this is a kitchen that anybody would be happy to have. Nice long kitchen bench. Beautiful. Looks good. Again, it's the small things that make the difference. 
Dishwasher. It's the small things that make the difference. You can't see it, but we've got a water tap here. If you have a fridge that's plumbed, dishwasher is yet to come. Um, we ran a bit out of time, but we have already a tenant lined up for this house. So we decided to speed the process up a bit. The house was actually rented two weeks before today, the date of completion. Pretty standard fit out. Um, pantry. Soft closing doors uh, and drawers, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so that's all pretty standard. Nice lounge, open living, again with plenty of PowerPoints and so on and so forth. Let's have a quick look outside. Now the grass is very fresh, so that will still look a bit um, rough, but that will be uh, sorting itself out very, very soon. Couple of moles and you won't be able to see it anymore. Now we have, again, a small difference. Um, the yard pit, if there is a high rainfall, We've got a yard pit, and that is, of course, plumbed to the street. The side of the house is gravel. No good in putting any um, grass there. It will never grow, and it's a maintenance hassle. Now, this is uh, when, you, when we look over here. This is another Property Friends edition. We want to have a pathway for where the clothesline goes. The clothesline is coming. Um, we want to have a pathway where the clothesline goes so that we don't have to trudge through the dirt or through the grass or whatever. So you come out of the laundry and have immediate access to the clothesline. So that works well. All right, going back to the back, the um, Grass obviously has a sprinkler system. Sorry for having my back to you. Nice big patio. So that works very well. Enough room to have a kid play on the on the in the yard. So that's all good. All right. So that's the lounge room. We have one bedroom, toilet, bathroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, study nook. So this is it. Let's have a quick look at the front yard. Oh, what's here? Great house. Let's have a quick look at the front plantings. Again, small difference. We're grateful for the builder looking after us. The edging is brick, not the $5.20 a meter Bunnings plastic. Plenty of flowers or plantings in the front garden bed. Again, some people skimp on that and put three plants in there. The additional cost of doing it right certainly pays off. All right, so as far as I'm concerned, that's a winning successful project. And uh, thanks to DJ Jones for delivering a great project. Bye-bye.